Okay, um, COM module, uh, ETX and XTX. That's the board profile, uh, main chipset, CPU, Northbridge, Southbridge, memory, SATA connections. On the reverse of the board, four X connectors. In ETX, that gives you PCI, ISA, and then all the peripherals. In XTX, it gives you PCI, PCI Express, and the peripherals. The peripherals include LCD, both TTL and LVDS, uh, analog, Ethernet, RS-232, USBs, keyboard, mouse. All the power to the board is in 5 volts. Power consumption depends on the exact flavour of the board. Um, sorted. Uh, a lot of customers use uh, this effectively ATX type board. Four PCIs, three ISAs, versions with PCI Express if required. Usual PC functionality on the top. ATX connector on this side. And plug in the selected COM module. I'm going to get it wrong once. <laughs> and that's the beginning of your development system. Our module is because the four connectors on the bottom um, are the same across all of the ETX and XTX range. This one's a VIA based CPU, this one's an Intel Atom based CPU, and provided the boards are designed accordingly, the same board will then fit onto any of the platforms that we've just been looking at. Difficult to do it when you're doing it away from you. So, what was a via based is now an Intel based. It could be an AMD, it could be higher power, lower power, whatever your requirements are. Tickets, so, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so, this is the PC104. So, comparing a COM module to the PC104 module. See the similar sizes. Connections on the PC104 module, the PC104 itself, which is ISA, PC104 Plus, which is PCI. On this particular board, that's a compact flash. Memory in here. Sorry, PCI Express in here. Memory down there. Yep. Um, the thing about PC104 is the number of connections required to bring all of the board, uh, various interfaces out and that will vary on a board by board base basis. Whereas with a COM module you have the four connections at the bottom and that's it. To interface into a PC104 board, if we look at the connections, PC104 itself and PCI through the PC104 Plus. Boards tend to have their own connectivity. This one's an Ethernet board. And as you can see, this one requires that both of the PC104 connectors are passed through. On this particular CPU board, this one's not passed through on the PCI, which forces you to mount it in that fashion. To mount them, connections are strong. But what you have is a difficult situation to connect to all the various parts. When you're connecting one board together, sorry, two boards together, it can be a challenge. When you start going for three or more, um, it can get unwieldy. It can certainly have problems with connections and also with cooling, because all of these connections here, if we take the Ethernet as an example, you have to have the RJ45 off board, and you're mating to the various parts. I'll bring that in there, 
So we have that connected in there. That connected in there. And you start to see the, the limitations of the connections. If we then bring in a, another board with another set of requirements in terms of connections, you can see that it becomes impractical to the reference point on the common board. If we compare that with a three and a half inch board, you get an idea of the sizes. In terms of the three and a half inch board, usual industry standard connectors, which you may or may not want. Um, nowadays, more products require non-PC specific connectors. So they can be suitable for their given environments or indeed to avoid problems with IT departments or MIS departments. When you want to expand to utilize some of these connectors, you tend to be using cables like this or like this. And quite quickly it can become quite unwieldy. The key point is that the functionality you require has to be on board or you're using a PC-104 connection or a PCI connection to give you the functionality you require. Um, yeah. Board as we've seen it before. enclosure and the same connections. Yeah. No cables required. Suitable. Bring it on and start. Yeah, go. USB host, dual cam and heavy power supply arrangements, compact flash and also onboard flash for security reasons. And there's the product. No cables. Simple manufacture and with a combination of an LCD and some plastics. Should I bring in another label for that? Is this no. a little bit awkward or...? No, it's alright. Okay. Yeah. Right. Put them both down next to each other. Next. Yeah, that, that's a nice. Then shut just up like that. Yeah. 